So, as I'm sure most of you already know, I'm kind of a Splatana guy. I mean, my favorite weapon of all time comes from this class, and I just think all three main weapons are super fun and satisfying to play. I truly think the Splatanas are the coolest weapon class Nintendo has ever made. And now that we have two variants for each one, I thought I'd go ahead and rank them based off of how much I enjoy them. Like I said, I do like all three main weapons in the Splatana class, so this ranking will be based off the kits. How much I enjoy the sub and special, and how well I think they synergize with the main weapon. Also, if Nintendo does decide to do third kiss, then I will be sure to make an updated video. Also, also, I plan to do a ranking video like this for my second and third favorite weapon classes, so stay tuned for that. Anyways, without further ado, let's get started with my least favorite Splatana. So, at number 6, again, my least favorite weapon in the Splatana class, is the Splatana Wiper Deco. For those who have seen my ranking every weapon class video, where I also bring up my favorite and least favorite weapons from each class, you probably already know this. The kit is Squid Beacon Antenna Missiles. Not only is this a very boring kit, it just doesn't synergize well at all with Wiper. Beacons are useful for setting up jump locations for you and your team, but Wiper really wants a damaging sub that can help with its weak damage. So the weapon struggles a lot without one. And missiles is missiles. This kit really takes away from Wiper's aggressive playstyle and forces it to play more passively, which is just not fun for me. And that's why I'm really not a fan of Wiper Deco. At number 5 is the Mint Decavitator. In terms of my personal enjoyment, I think this weapon is okay. I really like how differently the main weapon plays compared to Wiper and Stamper. It's a lot of dashing in and going for directs, which is pretty easy since the Cavitator's hitbox is absolutely massive and I do think it could use a nerf. But regardless, I do quite enjoy Decav. As for the kit though, I mean, it's fine. I like Suction Bomb, but I've never really cared that much for Big Bubbler. Like, it can feel good to save your teammates with it, I like the beacon in the middle, and I do think the special synergizes pretty well with Decav, especially since it's one of really only two bubble weapons that's really good at punishing enemies who try to enter the bubble, much like Roller. Other than that, I don't think the special is all that satisfying to use, and I just find a lot of the other specials in the game much more enjoyable. Number 4 is the Splatana Stamper Nouveau. Yeah, I bet you guys weren't expecting this one to be this low. I mean, don't get me wrong, I do like this weapon. Y'all know how much I love the main weapon of Stamper and Crab Tank, and I think they pair really well together. So what is it that puts Stamper Nouveau on the lower half? Well, it's the sub, which is Toxic Mist. The sub is just boring, and it doesn't really do much other than slow down enemy movement and slowly drain their ink tank. I mean, the sub can be okay at making it more difficult for enemies to get through choke points, but it's still pretty bland and it does take away from my enjoyment of the weapon a little bit. Not to the point of disliking it, but it does keep me from really liking it. I'm going to be completely honest, I, much, I would have been much happier if it got Line Marker. Even though it's the worst sub right now, I think it'd be really funny on Stamper. You'd land a charge slash on an opponent, and hit them with a marker direct immediately after. I know landing a marker direct is really hard, but it would still be really satisfying and fun to pull off. Okay, moving on to number 3, which is the Splatana Wiper. Honestly, I don't use this weapon enough. They gave this weapon quite literally the perfect kit. Okay, maybe not perfect, but it's really good synergy-wise. Torpedo is one of, if not the best sub, Wiper can get. It gives it a scouting ability and combos really well with the weapon and makes up for its weak damage. I know Ultra Stamp is pretty bad, but it's still really fun when you can actually do stuff with it and suits Wiper's playstyle really well. It's just an overall really fun kit and I should start using it more. Not really much else I can say. At number 2 is the Charcoal Decapitator. I am so happy I finally get an inkjet weapon that I actually like. That's really the main reason Charcoal is number 2 for me. It's a Splatana with Inkjet, my second favorite special. I've waited so long for a weapon I like to get the special. I mean, Rapid Deco is okay, it's just not really my favorite main weapon in the Blaster class, and it's 210p for some reason. Anyway, I'm getting off topic. As for the sub, Splashball is decent, I'd much, ra I'd much rather have a bomb, but while can be helpful for setting up and holding positions. But either way, I'm still ecstatic this weapon got Inkjet, and I've been having a lot of fun with it. 
And finally at number one, my favorite weapon in the Splatana class to absolutely no one's surprise, is the Splatana Stamper. I just cannot get enough of this thing. The main weapon is awesome, the sub is awesome, and the special is even more awesome. Okay, for real though, Burst Bomb is a crazy good combo tool for an already very strong main weapon. And Zipcaster is Zipcaster. Going into Splatoon 3, I actually wasn't sure if Zip would be that great on Stamper, but no, the two pair very well together. You just gotta be careful using charge slashes while using the special as that can leave you quite vulnerable. But yeah, this weapon is some of the most fun I've ever had with Splatoon, and that's why it's not just my favorite Splatana, it's also my favorite weapon in the series. Well, that's a wrap. Really hope you guys enjoyed the video. Once again, I plan on doing the same ranking video for my other two favorite weapon classes. I don't really want to do a video for every class as that would take a long time. I also plan on updating my weapon class ranking once we find out whether or not Nintendo will be doing a content extension, which I hope they do, but we'll see. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video. Peace.